what's up you guys it's me African hair god I just finished shampooing and conditioning my hair and I am getting ready to uh, put my hair in some braids for a braid out tomorrow and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and show you how it is that I go about moisturizing my natural hair of course it is winter and we want to play close attention to moisturizing to combat that dry cold uh, air and atmosphere against our hair which can be really harsh now um, this is what works for me I cannot promise you the same results for your hair but hopefully you find this video helpful and hopefully you take something from this video so I'm gonna try my best to get this make this as concise and as quick as possible but you guys know the deal already so there are four steps that I do to uh, moisturize my hair I first step is applying water second step oil sealing with oil third step I then follow up with a moisturizer and or leave-in and the fourth and last step is I apply uh, butter, a sealant, to seal all of that moisture into my hair. So, I'm just going to go ahead and um, get started on my hair and then I'm going to come back towards the end and demonstrate for you guys exactly how I do it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I'm on my last two sections, so I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what it is that I do and how I do it. Um, let me go ahead and show you the uh, products that I'm using. Uh, for my water, I'm using my water spritz, which is um, contains water, a little bit, just a small amount of oils, as well as um, let me see if I can, if I can as well as some of this uh, Jane Heart Solution Scalp Nourishing Serum. I think this is meant for your scalp, but it's not nice, so I just put it in my water spritz. Um, for my oil, I'm using the one and only brand Argon Oil, and I like this oil because it's it's a uh, thicker, a little bit heavier consistency. Um, it does contain dimethicones, which I love cones, so it's not a big issue for me. Um, for my leave-in moisturizer step, the third step, I'm using the Katsu Shea Butter Leave-In. And for my butter, I am using the Jencar Solution Nourish and Shine. As you can see, I have been using this a lot. All right, so let me do this one more time for you. Mixing on this water, step number one. Okay. Um, second, I'm applying my oil. And make sure you play close attention to the ends. I actually just trim my hair, my ends feel fantastic right now so that's a good thing next Cantu Shea Butter my leave-in and lastly I'm going to seal all of that in with the Nourish and Shine And with the Nourish and Shine, you don't need a lot. You don't want to cake all that on there, otherwise it will make your hair greasy. However, it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy if you use it in moderation. Just want to put that out there. I'm going to detangle a bit before I put this away. In braids, which is pretty much detangled anyway. So as I was saying earlier, um, we all know that the basics to moisturizing natural hair is applying water first, which is moisture, water is moisture, and then sealing the moisture in with oil. Um, so I kind of played off of that whole idea, and the way that I moisturize is basically just layering on moisture. The first layer is a light layer, which is water which is as light as moisture can get for your hair and then oil which is the lightest form of sealant then I follow up on top of that with moisturizer or uh, leave-in which is water based uh, which is a heavier type of moisturizer and then I seal that on with butter which is a heavier type of sealant so there's really no mystery to it is no um, trick no secret 
this is just all I do. That's it, I promise you. And you guys see my hair all the time, and it always is, it feels fabulous. Now, I do not moisturize my hair using this method on a daily basis. I do this maybe once, maybe twice a week at most. Uh, I particularly do this after I shampoo and condition my hair as I've just done, or when I'm doing a braid out for, let's say, an afro puff. Um, usually this keeps my hair moisturized anywhere from three to four days to a whole week, depending on the weather, depending on what type of style I'm putting my hair into. Um, between, uh, in between those, I may moisturize my hair, maybe I'll spritz with some water, um, and then seal on with some oil um, throughout the week, or I may even apply a light oil on top of that as well. But for the most part, this is how I lock in, retain moisture in my hair. I don't do this daily because if you do it daily, you're going to have a bunch of product caked up in your hair, which leads to product buildup, and just unless you wash all that stuff out, you're going to have issues with uh, your the health of your hair or whatever. So, um, as I said before, you can substitute any of these products for um, your hair, but the concept is still the same. Sometimes I like to switch it up as well, but I like to use these particular products because they are the most consistent with locking in moisture in my hair. Um, anything else I should mention? That's it. If there's anything else I forgot to say, I'll annotate it somewhere. But um, that's pretty much it. So I hope this is helpful. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, be blessed. See you guys later. Bye.